All right, hello everyone, it's Farrakh, and welcome to a series of videos in which I show you what is, in my opinion, the best way to complete all the fishing quests in Wizard 101. Now, I already have two fishing videos on my channel, the first one, which is how fishing works in Wizard 101, and the second one, which is how to make practical uses of fishing, and if you watch the second one, you will know that there were different methods, there was an advanced and a beginner's method, in this series, I hope to show you how to get every single spell, and in this first video, I'm going to show you how to get to level 6, which is probably one of the most important things you can do in fishing, and I just like to get it done early on. In my opinion, that's the best way to go about fishing and completing the rest of the quest, so uh, today I'm just going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you're going to want is fishing gear. Mine is obviously Stitch right now. You're also going to notice that uh, this video that I'm about to show you, it was recorded a couple months ago, but all the information is still perfectly relevant. And uh, basically, this is the Seafarer set. Once again, if you watch my other fishing videos, you can buy it from this guy right here. It costs a total of 900 arena tickets to get it. And also, if you watch my videos, you know that uh, it's really easy. All you have to do is join a tournament, make sure you play at least one match and you're guaranteed 250 arena tickets so at most it'll take you four tournaments even if you know nothing about pvp uh, as long as you can get into a tournament you should be able to get this gear fairly easily ton of fishing luck highly recommend getting it it'll make a huge difference in your fishing quests now you really only need to watch the first two minutes of this video because pretty much to get to level six all you need to do is do the first two Wizard City fishing quests while also catching multiple fish. I'm going to let you know in the comments below exactly which fish from which area you need to get them. And then after that, you're going to go to housing tours and you're just going to fish for and try to catch every fish in all of the seven school houses and also the Arrow Village. And if you do that, you should easily get level six. Uh, even if you miss some fish, you're easily going to get to level six. And to use this castle tours, literally all you need to do is visit castle, go to top rated, and go through any one of these six, click on them, click the castle button to sort them alphabetically. If you don't see them in a certain list, you can always check through the next list, and you should be able to find all the schoolhouses in all these six lists. People will always be putting them there. Remember, the way you level up in fishing is pretty much just try to catch as many different fish as possible. And the way to do that is by using housing tours. That's the easiest way, in my opinion, to do it. So that is pretty much all you need to see of the video. The rest of the video is just going to be a demonstration of me starting from scratch and getting level six on this character. All right, and now we're going to begin our fishing journey. So to start off, once you have all your fishing gear, you're going to want to go ahead and talk to Lucky Hook Line. And he's going to give you this Hello, quest right here. It? I'm just going to skip through all the dialogue because he just explains how fishing works. Um, I've already explained how to do this in my first fishing video. If you want to know how this works, go check that out. Also, you can just read through the information that he gives right here. And you'll get a basic understanding of how fishing works. So here we go. We're given the ice rank one lure spell for free. Now, the way fishing works, the way the quests start is when you first start fishing, no matter where you're fishing in the spiral, the only fish that you're going to be able to catch are first the frost decoy and second the ice cuda. And I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to catch the fish uh, regardless of what you do. As long as you put your lure and throw it at the correct time and reel it in at the correct time, you're guaranteed as your first fish frost decoy. And once you complete the quest, that's when you can start catching other fish. And there it is. You want to wait for that sound, as I explained in the fishing guide, or in the first fishing video. Catch one of those, and then I just need to catch one more fish, which is going to be the Ice Cuda. And just by catching the first fish, you get to level 1, almost to level 2. So we're going to go ahead and catch this. And there it is. We have the Ice Cuda now. So once you do this, you should be level 2, right at the beginning of level 2, 500 out of 3,870. You can then go ahead and hand in your quest to Lucky Hook Line. And actually, once you complete this quest, uh, so this is a very good way to fill up your energy. So if you wanted to spend your energy on other things, like let's say you want to refill your energy to max for pet hatching or whatever, if you do the first fishing quest, after you've completed it, uh, he will refill your energy to max. So here, have this energy elixir. But yeah, for us, for our purposes, it's not going to be the end of the world that, you know, we were at basically full energy. I don't have any pets to make on this account right now, so I don't really, I'm not really going to worry about spending all my energy. But I do recommend before you hand in the quest, make sure you use up all your energy on whatever it is on that character that you can use up on. So uh, that way you can, you know, make the most of it because you're going to have full energy to comp continue your fishing quest anyways. All right. Now for the second fishing quest, it is important to know that you do get a minor fishing luck potion when you do it. 
Now, you could go ahead and do this step afterwards if you want to save that minor fishing luck and instead get to level 6, in which case I recommend you skip forward just a little bit and then come back to this. Um, but personally, it's a minor fishing luck. Uh, it's not going to last us. It's only going to last for an hour long, and unless it's zero energy fishing, I'm pretty sure that it's only going to be useful for like when we start catching rank 2 and rank 3 fish, which is going to be much later in fishing. So honestly, I would say just... just just do them in this order. It'll just make it a lot easier to get to level 6 if you just complete all this at once. It is more time efficient in that way. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and accept this quest. Just spam it. And there we go. We got our minor fishing luck elixir. So let's try to speed this up. Make sure we're not wasting any time here. Uh, also, make sure this is the time where you go ahead and train all of the rank 1 lure spells. So let's go ahead and train all of them. For this one, I personally don't care about reveal fish that much. Um, if you have a hard time seeing the fish in certain places, it can be helpful. But for me personally, I don't think I'll need it. Um, I'll go ahead and train it just in case, just for the sake of, you know, showing you in this tutorial if, uh, if there is a fish that's hard to see on camera, but, uh, and then I'm gonna get Reveal Fish School. This spell is insanely important to get, so, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, check which fish we need to get. So we open up our quest tab, we need our Shark Spear, Mechanical Armor Head, Cyclops Head. Let's try to get the ones from the commons first. So the commons, the only fish is going to be the Mainstream Decoy and the Catfish. One is a Balance Fish and one is a Fire Fish, so we're gonna go ahead and Reveal Fish School. And I'm going to personally stomp out uh, some of the fish that are not fire or balance fish right away just so that like it's easier to string it's easier to um, separate out the fish so you don't accidentally catch the wrong one. So all right, it went down immediately. Let's hopefully we can catch the catfish right away. And there it is. There's the catfish. Now we just need the mainstream decoy from the commons. And I'm going to go ahead and reveal fish school again. There it is. Balance fish. Going to catch it right away. I, I believe at this time, it is currently around like the spring time. That's like the, what in terms of like seasonal fish, that's it's going to be the spring fish. So, and the spring fish is a storm fish. So I believe the only balanced fish you can catch from the commons, um, non-seasonal fish is the mainstream decoy. So this right here should be a mainstream decoy, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is, there's a mainstream decoy. And that is all the fish that we need from the commons. Next up, we're going to go to Unicorn Way. I believe there's two fish that I need to catch from Unicorn Way. One is going to be the bonefish, and um, actually there's only one fish that you need to catch, it's just the bonefish. However, I personally recommend fishing for multiple fish here. Um, so we're actually going to go ahead and open up the fishing tab, reveal fish school. Um, we're going to go ahead and catch this death fish, but we're also going to catch the ice fish, because I believe the ice fish, you can potentially get something that's new. And again, remember, the fastest way, we want to, you know, do two things at once. We want to try to get towards level 6 as fast as possible while we're completing the fishing quest, just so that we get our spells as fast as possible. Let's catch this bonefish right here. Yep, there it is. I think you can catch another type of death fish here too, but I'm just going to try for the death fish. I believe there's an ice fish that you get here. I don't think it is the ice decoy. Top of my head, obviously. Okay, looks like it is the ice cuda. And we already caught that fish. As you can see, we only get 1% of the original XP. Bounce fish here, I'm pretty sure are mainstream decoys. Uh, I'm going to catch the life fish because I believe you can get a tree ant fish. So those are the two fish I want to catch from here. And there we go. There's a life kuda. Okay, there's a life fish right there. I want to try to catch that one because that could be our tree ant fish. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but uh, if you wait 20 minutes after you stamp out all the fish, after 20 minutes, the full pond will n naturally just reset all the fish in it. So even though we don't have summon fish right now, uh, there is a way to reset the pond for now. It does require a little bit more time. Another life kuda, that's okay. We're going to keep on fishing for these life fish. Another life kuda. Another life kuda. And another life kuda. Now you know my frustrations with making this fishing guide. I want to make sure there's only ice and life fish. So we'll take a break from the life fish. We'll go ahead and catch the ice fish now. Remember, if this happens to you where you fish out all the life fish and you just can't get the fish, you can come back later. Just make sure you stamp out all the fish. Uh, scare them away go fish in another area come back after 20 minutes and the pond should have new fish in it after you you know scare away all the other ones and there we go we got the we got the allied pike all right that's perfect i'm gonna go ahead and scare away all the fish in this pond here we're gonna move on to our next area that we have to fish in for the quest which is gonna be old town i i like to do old town before i do cyclops lane all right, so from here, the only fish we need to get is going to be the shark spear. However, you can also get the garfish from here. Both of them are ice fish, so you might as well just get both of them done right here, just so that you can, you know, use up this area. Um, I don't think I'm pretty sure all the balance fish here are mainstream decoy. So obviously, in the updated thing, I I probably will have said, you know, get the balance kuda from here. Um, but right here, as I'm like, you know, 
And there we go. We got the Garfish. And actually, I just realized we did have to catch the Garfish for the quest. Um, but I guess it told us to go to Cyclops Lane. Again, you can go to Cyclops Lane or you can go here and you do catch the Garfish. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out these other fish because I do want it to reset. So we can have a chance to get that Bounce Kuda. But if I go to the Spell Quest or the, the Fishing Quests here, Mechanical Armor Head, that's a Stormfish. Fish Sandwich, that's a Myth Mythfish. And those are the only two fish left I need to get. I'm going to go ahead and catch that Stormfish. That Stormfish is 100% a Mechanical Armor Head. Stormakuda from here. So that Oh, oh that is unfortunate. Yeah, I did not think that would actually get attracted to the lure. So unfortunately, we wasted our Stormfish. Again, any fish has a chance to be a chest if the air, if that area has potential fishing chests. But and the we want to get fishing chests when we actually try to when we finish our fishing journey and have our spells and want to get other things, you know. So, so, and there it is. We got the Death Akuda. That's a new fish. There's a myth fish right here. That is the fish sandwich. We're focused on getting to level six, We're completing the Wizard City fishing quest, and focusing on getting to level six as fast as possible. So. I'm also just going to focus on getting the Mythicuda. And there it is. There's the Mythicuda. And with that, um, I'm going to scan one more time for the Deathfish. But if I can't find it, I'm honestly not too disappointed. Does not seem like there are any Deathfish here. But that's okay. I, again, I'm probably going to find the Cuttlefish in other areas. Uh, that is pretty much Wizard City Fishing. That is what I like to do. Uh, again, I could come back in 20 minutes for the remaining three fish. Obviously, in the Unicorn Way, we missed the uh, Treant Fish. Um, in Old Town, we missed the Balance Kuda, and here we missed the Cuttlefish. So I'm going to go ahead and move on from here. If later on I realize I'm not rank 6 somehow by all the fishing that I do in the other houses, then I'll come back here, of course. But for now, that was Old Town. We're going to go back to the commons. Yeah, fishing trip was good, lucky. And now here is the next fishing quest. It's going to be in Grizzleheim. However, in my opinion, this fishing quest gives people a little bit of trouble because of the Barracuda. And I have an amazing method to catching the Barracuda. It involves having someone fish already. It just makes it a lot faster and a lot easier. Once again, your crystal ball does refill after that fishing quest. So again, if you have a little bit of excess energy when you complete the Wizard City fishing quest, if you're out of energy and you want to catch more fish, make sure to talk to him. First two fishing quests, refill your energy. You still have that minor fishing luck elixir from before. So now we're going to go to housing fishing to get to the rank six. That's our next step right here. All right. So you should be around level four when you finish the Wizard City fishing quests. And before we move on to Grizzleheim, of course, we're going to get to rank 6. So we still have 40 minutes left of this potion. Um, again, you get full energy after you do that quest. So right now is a good time to go ahead and use up the rest. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do houses. I'm going to pick some easy houses right off the bat. Uh, we're going to start off with the death house. And um, again, to look for houses, you go to top rated. And then you go through all six of these until you find them. Again, you sort them by alphabetical. We're looking for death, so that begins with a D. So there we go. We have a death house. Um, I'm just going to go to this one. This says magical. And a lot of these houses, they're very well decorated. Yeah, interesting. Normally you cannot get down here, but it looks like this person actually uh, set up a little platform to make it easier for us to get to the fish. So uh, thank you, whoever did that. Anyways, we're not going to have to use Reveal Fish School because that's why I like to do these fishing houses. Again, we're trying to make it as easy as possible. Um, we know that we're, there's pretty much only going to be death fish in here. So I'm just going to use my death lure. I do not have to waste any energy on the Reveal Fish spell. Again, from here... We're trying to catch four different types of fish. Codfather, Cuttlefish, Deathacuda, and Dorgan Doodle. Obviously, I already got the Deathacuda from Cyclops Lane, so uh, I'm trying not to get it here, but there we go. We got the Codfather. This is a rank two fish. We do still have only rank one lures right now. It would be easy. Again, because we're using our minor fishing luck elixir at the right time, and we have our energy gear, it's making it a lot easier. So again, highly recommend getting the energy gear, and I highly recommend you at least get the, get the first amount of fishing done, like, and the first, the first amount of fishing is, you know, getting to rank six. Get all that done right away. As soon as you start fishing, make sure before you get off, before you log off, at least get to level six. Um, that way you get like the, you get one of the most annoying parts of fishing and one of the most, uh, in my opinion, uh, what people get confused at the most parts of fishing done right away. Looks like we actually got a shamrock fish, which is interesting. That's a seasonal fish. It's actually a life fish. So we got another codfather. And we got another Death Akuda, which we already have. Another Codfather. Another Death Akuda. Alright, we got the Cuttlefish. There we go. I'm going to try for two more fish here. And if I don't catch the Dorgan Doodlefish, then I'm just going to move on. Because we've caught three. At this point, we have a 75% chance to catch a fish that we've already caught. So, And we got another Fishing chest. Ooh. 
I got a zombie pet. Interesting. Never seen that before. Yeah, so we fished we fish for every fish in this pond. Again, uh, if we're somehow by some, you know, unluckiness, not level six already, by the time we do all the other houses, I can always come back for the last fish here. Next up is going to be the lifehouse. So again, we're going to go to top rated. Go to top rated first, sorted by alphabetical order, and then look for L. And we do have a life house here. Again, if you don't find it here, you can find it in other categories as well. So um, let me see. Ooh, this one I might actually, I might not be able to fish here. Oh, never mind. We can fish here. Okay. Um, and then let's try catching life fish. So from here, we're trying to get the brain sturgeon, Mulin, the doodle fish, and sumo koi. I believe if you have not caught the triant fish or the life kuda, I believe those are possible to get here as well. Never mind, it's the brain surgeon. Okay, yeah. Brain surgeon is one of the fish. And there's the triant fish. This is the one that I missed out on in Unicorn Way. So yeah, it is possible to get this fish. And we got the sumo koi. At this point, again, we're doing so well on fish that I'm just going to catch those three fish. I got three new fish from this house. And I'm honestly just going to move on from this. And next up is going to be the myth house. So you can see where we're going with this. We're going to go through the schoolhouses and try to get, you know, two to four fish from each schoolhouse, which is going to help us out a ton. For these schoolhouses, I believe people always have them available. So uh, you can actually get the Cyrus doodle fish from here. So there is that actually. So actually that, that adds another fish to the list. All right, right away. And there's a the Cyrus doodle fish. Awesome. I'm still going to try for the troll trout. I might as well. And there it is. Troll trout. Finally. Okay. So there we go. I got all the fish that we need from this house right here. We can move on now. And bounce house. Two to four fish from each one. There we go. There's the, the boar fish. And uh, what is that fish? Archer fish. It did seem to be moving fast. It might be a doodle fish. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, I feel like the doodle fish, doodle fish are like kind of like kind of the rare fish there or in these areas. So I feel like the fish that are moving kind of fast, you can kind of say that they're probably doodle fish. So. Oh, there we go. We got the balance Kuda. Awesome. But for now, I'm just going to move on to the next house. And the next house that we're going to move on to is going to be the ice house. And we do have an ice house. Let's go ahead and go here. Yep, there's a ninja fish. So I'm going to avoid fast moving fish from now on because I feel like generally fast moving fish in this area are just ninja fish. And there we go. We got it. So yeah, from the ice house, look for the fastest moving fish. And uh, it's going to be either a ninja fish or a lady doodle fish. We got two fish from there. I consider that a, a huge success. And that's it from the ice house. Go down here. And we do have a storm house. So let's go down here. And the storm Akuda. And there's the goldfish grouper right there, actually. So we have that. But yeah, grape jellyfish, goldfish grouper, Halston doodle fish. Hey, there it is. So yeah, the, the doodle fish do move, tend to move like, at a medium speed, rather. And there we go, Storm Akuda. All right. And there we go. We got three firehouses. I'm just going to pick the one in the middle here. This house is probably the hardest of the school of the schoolhouses. This is the hardest house to fish in. The fish, in my opinion, they tend to blend in a bit more than the other houses. And there we go. Okay, interesting. Um, that's the spring fish, right? Yeah. Our, ooh, actually, I've never caught one before. So actually, that was a new fish. So. And yep, there we go. All right, so... I guess that pretty much proves it. If you see a medium moving fish, there's an, a really high likelihood of it being um, a doodle fish. So. And there we go. Got a fire kuda as well. And right there, I'm already level 6 in fishing. I'm not even done fishing in this house. I still have another entire house that I want to show y'all. But I'm already level 6. I'm still going to keep on showing y'all all the fish. So. And there we go. There's the stingray. Or the sunray. Excuse me, not the stingray. I got all but two fish here. That's honestly really good. That is all the schools for fishing. I believe I've gone through all of them. I did death life myth to start and then I did balance and then I did ice storm and fire. So that is all the school fish and I'm already ranked six fishing just off of that. I'm going to show you one more house and keep in mind. I did not get the Dorgan doodle fish from the death house. I did not get the Melinda doodle fish from the life house and I did not get the dragon eel or the ember parrot from the firehouse. So despite missing out on four fish, I'm already ranked six and I still have another house to go. So the last house is gonna be the arrow village. 
if you if it seems like you're kind of far away from rank six you know you're at rank five you still need a lot more xp arrow village is going to be your biggest chunk of xp you're ever going to get from fishing the amount of fish that you get from here and the, the levels for the fish is honestly insane so we're gonna check top rated don't find the arrow village check here we don't find it top magical uh don't find it top crazy there it is we got plenty of arrow villages here and here we are this is one of the best places to fish in the game um we're gonna go ahead and reveal fish school now keep in mind the front pond and the rear pond are they have a different types of fish in them so um, i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna scare off all of the non-storm fish here because the myth fish here actually i could have kept the balance fish i think the balance fish is um a, a unique fish you can get but the reason i want to scare off the myth fish is because the myth fish that are in this first pond area um they're all fish sandwiches which we've already caught in multiple different places already so we don't need those we're gonna fish out the storm fish here i believe there's two types of storm fish we can get from here one is going to be a brand new fish which is the grape jellyfish which i believe i had a chance to get from the storm house but i was not able to get but again it's a low chance to get it from there getting it from here is going to be much much more common much easier to get and okay yeah so you can get the spring fish from here as well if it is the spring season uh no okay actually so right you can actually get the okay you can get the arrow dwarf doodle fish as well from here so and there it is there's the grape jellyfish brand new fish 1400 xp those are the two fish that i would catch from the first area again grape jellyfish and um i guess the the doodle fish you can also get so reveal fish school this area is the golden area so if you have not already caught the goldfish grouper the stormfish in this back area right here are goldfish groupers however i've already caught them so i'm, I'm actually going to stomp out all the stormfish here so i'll even reveal fish school one more time um the life fish you get from here are the brain sturgeons so i might stamp those out as well let me just let me check the air village there's a lot of fish in here all right here we go firefish so the firefish is the the strawberry jellyfish so i want to go ahead and catch those it is kind of weird standing in the middle of the open because a lot of fish could make their way over to you and you end up losing the fish but that's okay please aw oh, dang it oh there we go we got the strawberry jellyfish that's all that's all that counts go ahead and reveal fish school stamp out the non ice fish because those are the last type of fish now i believe there are three types of fish that you can get from here that are ice fish um there is the blackberry jellyfish which is one of the best fish in the game uh we'll talk about that later um there is the cranky catfish and i think uh the sam bass right i believe that's the last one so the sand bass is one of the highest gold selling fish in the game. Um, let's go ahead and reveal fish. So is the blackberry jellyfish. We're going to go ahead and fish all the ice fish out here. There's three types that we can get. Um, those are going to give you plenty of XP. And you should 100%. By the end of this, again, we've missed out on a total of like four or five fish at this point. Across all the houses that we visited. All we've done is wizard city areas for fishing. And then literally just the schoolhouses and then this arrow village. That's it. That's all we've done and we're well on our way. To maybe even getting level seven but honestly there's there's nothing important at level seven the important thing is um getting to level six but yeah right, that fish is moving kind of fast um i don't know i think the ice i don't know if the fast fish means it's a, a, a black ray jellyfish or if it means it's a sand bass i'm not 100 sure and there's the sand bass so this fish is kind of hard to get um because it is a rank three fish the black ray jellyfish i think that's a rank two fish um yeah, it's rank two fish. The sand bass is rank three. Um, and we've caught all of the ice fish here. So again, you can walk out, wait 20 minutes. If you're somehow, somehow you got so unlucky and you're not level six, sell all your fish, except for unless you have fish that you absolutely need for something. So the blackberry jellyfish, obviously you use those for either gold or for mega snacks. All that fishing and we have so much gold now. This gold should be enough to get us pretty much all the fishing spells that we need. So, so we're going to make our way to Grizzleheim to get that spell. And what you're going to want to do is go over here to the right, and you're going to want to go to this fishing area. And I believe the guy that sells the spell is actually Frode Silverscale. But you're going to want to train right here. And actually, for all these, um, I would suggest training all three of these spells. In fact, anytime you come across a fishing trainer, it really doesn't hurt to train all the spells. Of course, it costs a little bit of gold, but gold is extremely easy to get in this game. We're going to make our way to Dragonspire, and you're going to want to first go to the Labyrinth in Dragonspire. All right, and you're not going to want to talk to Dimitri because we're not doing the quest here. We just want to talk to this guy, Timor Flamecaster. 
we talk to him, we click train, and he is going to give us a ton of spells. So first of all, obviously you have these uh, Winnow spells, which uh, are going to be extremely important. Um, you only need to be rank 3 for these, but these spells make it a lot easier. This specific spell will make the next fishing quest so much easier. So let's train this. Uh, it's going to go ahead. It's going to cost us a total of 8,000 gold, but again, you get gold back from fishing. Um, just by doing these fishing quests, when you sell all your fish, you're just going to have enough gold that you'll pretty much make up all the gold that you spent on fishing. So, uh, Yuri Smokesnare, who is actually in the Athenaeum, right here next to the uh, Balthazar, the crafting guy, and the reagent vendor. And right here, uh, we don't need these two spells, reveal small fries and almost, we don't need these. Uh, these are if you, I guess, you want to do fishing for like certain type of fish for like fishing events and stuff. You could get them. Again, it doesn't hurt to have extra fishing spells, but uh, I'm just going to train these right here. These are the best lures you can get, the rank 3 lures. It's better to be above the rank than to be below the rank, so. So anyways, this does it for the first video. It is the most important thing in fishing in my opinion, and I hope with these steps you were able to get them. Obviously, if you're not able to find every single fish in every house and you somehow were not able to get to rank 6, you can always go back to the houses after 20 minutes. Uh, the fish do reset. Uh, anyways, let me know in the comments down below and leave a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, join my Discord, everything, links for everything can be found out in the description below. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, have a good evening.